Hey mathematics learners, welcome to Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. On today's video tutorial, guys, we are going to be going through the May or June 2022 Mathematical Literacy Paper 2 that was written by the grade 12 learners. Okay, so the first question that we're going to be going through, right, is question 1.1. And question 1.1 basically deals with measuring instruments, okay? So before we get started with today's video tutorial, guys, please make sure that you are subscribed to the channel. Please make sure that you click on that notification bell so that you get notified every single time I upload a video tutorial, guys. And also don't forget to give this video tutorial a huge thumbs up because that really helps the channel grow and it helps the channel to reach more learners that want to better their mathematics mark okay and before we get started with the video tutorial guys just make sure that you've taken a screenshot of obviously the questions right try them on your own and play the video tutorial to see if you've got them correct okay so without any further ado guys let's get started with today's video tutorial <music> So like I mentioned guys, in today's video tutorial, we are going to be going through our question 1.1. Okay, so let's get started with it, right? It says that Sufiso is a builder who uses building plans and measuring instruments. Some measuring instruments and scales used by builders are shown below, okay? Choose an item from column B that matches a description in column A. Write only the letter A, G, right? next to the question number right so for example if you think that um question 1.1 matches with b then you write 1.1.1 b okay in the answer book okay so let's just have a look at what we are given here okay so we're gonna first just read the descriptions and then we're gonna have a look at your items or your measuring instruments okay so question 1.1 talks about the most appropriate scale to draw a map of south africa so we're going to look at all these scales here and see which one is going to be the most appropriate one to draw a map of South Africa. Okay. Question 1.1.2, the instrument most suited to measure the circumference of a dinner plate. Okay. Using these instruments, which one would be most suitable to measure the circumference of a dinner plate? Okay. Question 1.1.3, the most appropriate scale to draw a plan of a house. So which scale would be most appropriate to draw a plan of a house? Okay. And question 1.1.4, the instrument most suited to measure the width of a soccer field, right? So which instrument would be most appropriate for us to measure the width of a soccer field, right? And question 1.1.4. Five, the instrument most suited to measure the length of a pencil. Okay, so let's just have a look at these instruments here, right, in column B, and let's just try to label them. Okay, so with question the with A, we can see that A is actually a bar scale, right? And with our bar scale, we like it's we usually see it on our maps, like on for example, on your uh, maps, plans, and other representations of the physical world, right? where they will give you like a layout a plan of maybe like the living room you'll see this bar scale in something like that okay and a bar scale is just there to just show you for example if it's on your map right like or um whatever map that you're given it just tells you for every let's say for example one centimeter or uh, 10 millimeters you measure in the real in real life it's a hundred kilometers or in real life it's 200 kilometers so for example in your map if you've measured like two two centimeters right in real life it's 200 kilometers okay so this is a bar scale let's look at b so a b is a steel tape measure so we normally see our steel tape measure obviously when we have people doing renovations in the house right or a construction worker wants to basically measure the length of like a, a level surface right they will just use that um, steel tape, okay, right? And I see there that I think it says three meters. So your steel tapes come in different um, lengths, right? Some are three meters long, some are five meters long, okay, right? So, but then they're not practical for you to just measure like long distances, okay? It's usually maybe if you just want to measure like the size of a stoop, right? Something like that, 
a level surface like that, right? You will use your skills uh, table. What's your C? Okay. So I tried to obviously look for what this one could be. So it could be an invar tape or a synthetic tape, right? And this type of uh, tape, right, is more um, flexible, right? And you can also measure like longer distances, right? So we use that tape to do that, okay? And then your one is to 50,000, okay? So we know that this is a number scale, okay? And number scales can actually be used to measure any units of measurement, okay? And then here, right, ladies love using this to just measure their waist, to measure their tummies, to see how many inches they've lost or centimeters they've lost in their tummies or how many um, centimeters they've lost in their arms, right? So this one is also more flexible if you want to just measure um, something that's also like smaller, right? Um, right. And then for F, we see that this one is a ruler, okay? And then G is one centimeters is equal to one meter. Okay. So now let's just try to see which, what column A matches with in column B, okay? So let's see, question 1.1, 1 .1, the most appropriate scale to draw a map of South Africa. So if you want to draw a map of South Africa, okay, we will use D, right? So D will be most appropriate for us to basically draw the map of South Africa. So 1.1.1 1 .1 .1 is D, okay? Let us move on. Question 1.1.2, 1 .1 the instrument most suited to measure the circumference of a dinner plate, okay? So if we have a dinner plate, right? And we basically want to measure the circumference, right? So the boundary of the dinner plate, what instrument can we use? Guys, we cannot use a steel tape. We cannot use this. Come on. It's, this is just for long, uh, longer distances, right? We cannot use your number scale, right? But we can use this um, cloth tape, okay? Because that can actually, uh, it's flexible. We can um, measure the circumference of a dinner plate so question 1.1 1 1.2 1 .1 is d okay so question 1.1 1 .1 is d we said that the most appropriate um scale to draw a map of south africa we use what the number scale okay so that is the number scale okay question 1.1.2 1 .1 the instrument most suited to measure the circumference of a dinner you've got a dinner plate and you basically want to measure the outer or the outline of that plate right it'll be more practical for you to use instrument e right so the cloth tape will be more practical okay 1.1.3 the most appropriate scale to draw a plan of a house okay so if we're drawing a plan of a house guys the most appropriate scale one centimeter is equal to one meter okay because when you're drawing a house right you will be working with centimeters and meters most of the time, right? Because you're not going to be working with kilometers, okay? So that won't be practical. So the scale that will be uh, suitable, the most appropriate scale to draw a plan of a house is going to be our G. So 1.3 is G, okay? Let's go to 1.1.4. The instrument most suited to measure the width of a soccer field, right? So if you have a soccer field and you basically want to measure the width, okay? The most appropriate scale that you can use is the N, I think it's called the NVAR tape or the synthetic tape. I'm not sure which one it is, but this one is more suitable for if you basically want to measure like longer um, lengths or longer distances, right? So your C is going to be appropriate for question 1.1.4. And question 1.5, okay? So from here, the instrument most suited to measure the length, the instrument that will be more suitable to measure the length of a pencil, right? We can use our ruler because it's um it's not flexible. So you can just put your uh, pencil on the table and you can just put your ruler on the table and you can measure from top to bottom that length of, the, of, of that pencil, right? So it will be more appropriate for us to use a ruler. Okay, all right. So that is basically it. Okay, so the tip for us to basically, a tip I can give you guys for answering such questions is that you need to be a bit, you need to be logical about everything, right? You need to think if you want to basically draw a map of a house, are you going to use this bar scale from zero to 200 kilometers? No, right? It's not going to be appropriate. So chances are the one centimeter to one meter, right, is going to be more practical, right? If you're going to be measuring the the circumference of other plates, we cannot we, we cannot use the steel tape. Okay, 
because if you know what a steel tape looks like it's not flexible so you won't be able to bend it around your plate to measure so we cannot use that okay and we also can't use this guys this is not the your invar tape or your synthetic tape is also not going to be practical i mean i mean the plate is not that big okay so we can just use e to measure the circumference of your plate okay measuring a pencil right we can't be using the e your your cloth tape okay it's going to make your life difficult just take a ruler practically think about it practically okay so these questions just want you to think about things practically and also just know what is a steel tape what does it look like have you seen it before so chances are all of these things you've seen before they're not going to ask you about things that you've never seen in your life right just think about them logically does it make sense okay so that is it for today's video tutorial guys it was nice and short i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you guys on my next video tutorial we are going to be tackling question 1.2 and question 1.2, we are going to be looking at calculating the surface area. So I'll be explaining what is surface area, how is it calculated, right? And then we'll be answering these questions. Okay, so I'll see you guys on my next upload. That is it, guys. And I'll see you guys on my next upload, Distance Learning with Lee, where I make learning mathematics super easy. Bye, guys.